always great catching up with my next guest, Jonathan Martinez. Big fight here at Madison Square Garden, UFC 309. He's fighting Marcus McGee. Jonathan, how you doing, man? I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing awesome. Uh, you must have been pretty excited when you found out you are going to be fighting in New York at MSG, or is this just another fight to you? Uh, to me, it's just another fight. Okay. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's nothing big. It's another fight for me. You had to go to Rio. You had to fight the king of Rio, Jose Aldo. Um, what went wrong in that fight? What did you take away from that one? Mm, just the, the nerves, you know, just, just looking at him across the cage. I was like, damn, this holds out in front of me. You know, I really didn't get to uh, what I could do. It just kind of sucks, you know. Lost that fight, just didn't go my way. Just pretty much just like a zombie just going in there. Didn't do what I was supposed to do. Yeah. But, you know, I learned a lot from that fight, you know what I mean? Had you had jitters like that before in fights? Because, again, that was, you know, the biggest name I, I would I would say that you fought in your career. So I imagine that's a bit different than some of the other opponents you fought. Oh, uh, yeah, not really. Just so, uh, you know, it was the first time going to Brazil, going to his hometown. And, you know, it was, it was a cool experience. And it was kind of a scary experience, too, just to go out there and fight him in his hometown. But at the end of the day, you know, it was a fight. And, you know, I just got how to... I was ready to get back in there, you know, and I, I'm better than that, but you know, it is what it is. It happens. And, uh, now you got a big uh, fight here against McGee who, uh, same management. So how's the negotiation on this? Pretty, it's pretty smooth. If you guys are under the same management group. Um, yeah, it's pretty smooth. Uh, this kind of just leaves us, you know, doesn't really like talk to us for that much right now, just cause you know, we're both on the same. So you don't okay. understand. Um, what do you know about him? How do you feel like you match up against him? Nine and one record, obviously a training partner, Sean O'Malley as well, too. Oh, you know, he's a really, uh, he's a really good fighter. And he's good everywhere. You know, I'm excited, you know, I'm going in there. He's a dangerous guy. You know, he's, he's good. You know, don't, don't talk bad about them. You know, as yeah. a guy, he has to feed his family. I got to feed mine. And, you know, I know it's going to be a good show. We're going to put on a good show. So you're back in Texas for this camp, right? The entire camp in Texas, uh, for, for, for this fight is my understanding. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm here. I'm doing it in my gym, and I'm doing it here at Ohana here in San Antonio, and it's okay. been going really good. Now, my understanding is, are you no longer with Factory X? Or are you just doing all your camps in Texas now? Is that is that my understanding? Uh, yeah, I'm no longer in Factory X now. I'm just going to stay here home. Okay, and any plans on going out? Because I know some of the guys that had also left the gym, like Brandon Royville, Hernandez, those guys have kind of formed like a new camp. Any thought of going back to Colorado and doing some cross training, or do you have everything you need back home? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I talked to them. You know, I think they're supposed to come down here after uh, Luis's fight, so just waiting on that. But, yeah, I would like to go out there. I was, I went up there a couple of weeks ago to go train with Brandon and stuff like that. Yeah, well, that's good. Uh, how different are things? Because I know it seems like for you it's more of a customized camp where you can kind of use the things you want as opposed to being more in, in like, a team environment. Yeah, I kind of like it. You know, I just a lot of different looks, and then, you know, I like learning a lot of different things. You know, seeing a lot of different opinions, stuff like that. So I've been, I'm excited. Who are you training with in Texas? Who have been some of the main guys? Well, I got Dominic Herrera, uh, Kelvin Martinez, uh, Tyler. You know, I got a bunch of them. Uh, I got a bunch of those guys, you know, the up and coming guys that are they're real scrappy and, and, you know, they, they're young. So, you know, they'd be pushing me. So it's pretty good. How much was the decision as well to train back home that you have a family? I know you used to have to always do your camps up in Colorado. You and Chris Gutierrez would have to bunk up uh, when, when you had fight camp. I'm sure it's so much easier being being close to your kids, right? Yeah, it's a lot easier now. You know, it's, just, it's a little bit hard to still miss uh, my teens back home, mm -hmm. you know, in Colorado. But, you know, I talk to them once in a while, you know, and Chris uh, checks up on me every other day, see how I'm doing and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm excited, you know, different different journey now, you know, see how it goes from here. Is he planning to come and train with you still, or I probably not for this fight, but in general, are you guys going to still train together? Cause obviously he's still in Colorado. Yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll go out there and, and train with him and stuff like that. I talk to him, you know, after this fight, you know, I know he's busy, hopefully trying to get a fight soon. So. So what will your, your corner look like for this fight? Uh, who's going to be in the cage with you? I, get, I have my brother and I have a uh, Tyler and I have Jason. He's a owner here at Ohana and stuff. Nice. And, yeah, it's, it's going to be good. You know, I'm, I'm excited. How's this fight playing out on November 16th? How do you see it going down? I just got to, you got to check in, you know, I like saying nothing. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, we're, we're expecting kind of a, a really uh, entertaining potential fight of the night, I'd say as well. You got a couple fights left in your contract. I imagine the Aldo fight, was that part of a new contract or same one you're on before? Uh, that was a new contract. Nice. So this is probably fight two on that new contract, if I'm assuming, right? Yeah. 
Okay, cool. I mentioned Aldo, obviously controversial fight a few weeks ago against Mario Batista. I'm sure you saw it. Uh, did you think Aldo should have got the nod there? What did you think about that fight? Um, yes and no. Like, yes, he should have got the win. And no, because if Aldo didn't, he's been in this position a, long, a lot of times. Like, get out of the cage. Instead of talking to the ref, should have tried to get out and do something. Instead, look at him to get, you know, he's a veteran, so he should have been, he should have known better. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I give it to Batista. Okay, and uh, we have a new champion in your weight class as well, Mirab Valishvili, defeating Sean O'Malley. Did you expect Mirab to be that dominant in the fight? I know there's some people arguing it was close, but I think if you just looked at it optically, Mirab clearly won that fight, I thought. What did you think of his fight? Oh, yeah, yeah, he won it. Yeah, he impressed me, you know. Seen him working hard a couple of gyms. I went out there in Vegas and stuff. I never, I didn't ever train with him. I didn't want to train with him, but, you know, I seen him there, and, and yeah, he trains hard. Does he beat Umar, do you think? Umar with a really good win over Corey Sanhagen. Oh, that's, I mean, that's a hard one. Umar is really good, but I just feel uh, Marab's uh, MMA wrestling is really good. So yeah. it's a, uh, it'll be good. Yeah, it's a, it's, it's a close fight. I think the striking might be the difference with Umar getting it, but we'll, we'll, we'll see on that one. You never know. And my last question, uh, how about your buddy, Brandon Royval? What a fight that was last weekend, taking out a, a yeah. really good up and comer in Tyra. Just how impressed were you with, with Brandon? Like I said, a good friend of yours. Man, it was good, man. Just watching him win, man. It was, I mean, we were motivated just watching him, you know. And I know how he is. He trains hard and everything. I, I talked to him that, that day he fought in the morning when well, he was about to fight, you know, and he felt good, you know. And yeah, he just, he, get, he has that dog. So, you know, he did real good. How much did that kind of pump you up a little bit? I know you're not training specifically with him right now, but that, that's got to give you a little bit of a boost, especially because he was a pretty big underdog going into that fight, which I was surprised by. Yeah, that's crazy. And uh, no, it, it just, Got me real hyped up and got me real motivated just for my fight, just because, you know, we, we talk all the time, but, you know, we trained all the time together and just see him do his own thing and just going in there and still the number one spot. Do, does a win here over Marcus, just especially if you go out there and finish him, does that kind of get you back in the position you were before the Aldo fight, do you think? Because, I mean, you're, you're chomping at the bit uh, and you've had a couple of nice uh, win streaks in, in the division. Yeah, I think a win over him, you know, brings me back back where I belong and stuff, you know, I think it's going to be a fun, a good fight. You know, I know the guy trains hard and, you know, I do the same. So it's going to be a fun fight. This is always a fun interview, Jonathan. Thanks so much for doing this. If there's uh, anyone you want to thank before we get out of here, any sponsors, any social media you want to mention, I'll give you the last word. I just want to thank all my friends and family and stuck by me, you know, and just everybody that checks up on me.